Welcome or welcome back. I'm Bex. And I'm Jack. And we moved 11,000 miles from New Zealand and invested everything we had in these old French houses. We currently live in that one and dream about potentially one day living in that one. We spent winter renovating downstairs. But with spring here, we decided to put everything on hold inside to move outside and build our vegetable garden and get it ready for summer. So come along as we share the story. All the best moments. <laughs> and the disasters. The absolute worst has happened. And heaps of shots of bees. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> as we turn our front lawn into, into this. this. If you've seen our previous videos, you know that we've already made some progress on the garden. We started with Beck's awesome plan and we drew it out on the lawn in real life. It's bigger than I expected. We had to do some pretty heavy landscaping to cut a hole through this wall. And then Beck started some seeds and they started growing. First, we built one garden. It was really amazing to see it come to life. As good as you hoped? Yes, it's beautiful. Look at those baby plants. You can't see any dirt in that bed now. Then we built two more. In a week. And I watered, which I didn't need to do. I learned how to weld so that we could make an arch and some obelisks for plants to climb on. And then it rained. And it rained some more. And it didn't stop raining. So we went flower shopping. Come rain or shine, we couldn't wait any longer, and it was time for us to complete our dream garden. I'm really glad you fixed that bit because that's normally like you'll come in be like I'm done and I'll go out and be like babe this bit though 
yeah, it's really hard to spot those things yeah. like when you're in the middle of it. Yeah. And so you need the fresh eyes normally. But um, I'm also glad that I didn't have to go back out after I thought I was done. because this one got rained on the entire time it was drying. It will probably never look the same as all of the others, but I kind of love that because it like captured the moment and it tells a little bit of the story of like what I went through when I was building it. I can't tell the difference. This is the vegetable garden that we built during lockdown. It was built out of sticks. And now we're onto a garden made of stones. Yeah. But it is full of amazing soil, so I'm really happy we've been able to use it. I was way too scared to use the digger's scoop next to the garden beds, so I filled them up by hand. Some more obelix. obelisks. Mm -hmm. Does it hurt you? Mm. Your tummy? No, it doesn't hurt my tummy. Okay. I think that's it's not. It's like a rainbow. It's like a rainbow. It's like a rainbow, yeah. It was at this point that I decided I was going to quit my day job and go full time making garden obelisks out of rebar. I was having so much fun and I've never made like seven of a thing in a row. And by the last one, like, I felt I had it pretty, pretty solid, you know, I had a process and they were all starting to look the same.
Yeah. yeah. He's getting out of the skin. The sun is shining, the birds are singing, the garden is ready. <laughs> How you feeling, baby? Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so happy. Hey? Yeah, we did it. These plants have been patiently waiting. Sorry, plants, it wasn't my fault, it was rain. Go for it, baby doll. This one, um, I'm going to plant based on my plan. Ooh. Yeah. Pretty much. I'm also just going to stuff some more things in here. <laughs> so I've got all these beans. That you grew from seed. Which I did. I surely need to go in the ground. And they got something to climb now. Oh, it's very windy. It is. It's all right. We'll plant them quite deep and tie them up. Now, where are you planting that kiwi? It wasn't part of my plan. I thought we could plant it here, but it... Oh, look at the bees. So apparently you water your tomatoes really well when you plant them and then you don't water them again for like a week. And then they send out long roots. Is that going to be a challenge for you to not come out and water them? Yes. <laughs> so which tomatoes have we got where? We're going to have a rainbow. We've got or ananas there. Yes. Then red. Right. Then cherry orange and cherry yellow. Ah, uh, cool. And then we've got purple cap, uh, purple capsicum, chil red capsicum, chilies, orange capsicum, yellow capsicum. Nice. So if they're already at the same time, it could look quite pretty. Fingers crossed. With the leeks and carrots. Obviously we've got calendula and chamomile and nasturtium as well. And so this is all from your companion planting guide? It is. Link uh, in the description. Yeah, if you want the whole guide, it's got four beds with everything that would work well together. I haven't planted every bed like that because I didn't start. You know, we've just kind of like been filling as we've gone. But this is fully to plan. Fully to plan, nice. Something I have noticed with like companion planting and filling more of the beds with flowers and what have you, is that when you come out, when I come out and do the slug check, um, lots of slugs are like on the flowers and stuff. So it's just keeping them off the vegetables. Also I want flowers, so I do get rid of them. I don't leave them there, but um, it's better to see them on a flower, like on a nasturtium, than it is to see on your peas. Yeah. You know? Yeah, the flowers pop a new one out every day and a half. Yeah. Gosh, this is looking gorgeous. I can't wait to like step back and appreciate it. <laughs> you can see how much the other bits have like grown into themselves and filled out. So. Yeah. It really is quite amazing what you've done here. Oh, it's quite amazing what you've done here. Oh yeah, look, the, the beds are impressive. I'll give myself that, <laughs> but, but an empty bed is sad and pointless. What are you most looking forward to? Eating tomatoes. Tomato? Yep. I want a thin slice of tomato and some marmite on toast. Oh. <laughs> 
What are you most looking forward to? I love it when I like come out, like I don't know what I'm making for dinner and I come out to the garden and I look at the garden and then... That's where you get your inspiration. Choose from there, yeah. I like that whole process. Be like, nice. oh, we've got carrots already and spinach and, you know? Yeah, I also love eating dinners that you make out of the garden. Oh, look at the sad bean. Need some water. We knew that this tree blocked a lot of the sunlight, but we didn't want to chop the whole thing down. So now that we had the gardens built, we knew exactly how much we needed to just take off the top. So here we are, just off the motorway, an hour from home. In the middle of nowhere. With absolutely every warning light that our car has. Uh, lit just up on cycling the through them. Yeah. <laughs> on a public holiday, um, waiting for roadside assistance. But hey, look at it. Look at where we are. on our way to pick up something very special for the garden and uh, that will not be happening today. Having the car breakdown has put a lot of stuff on hold. It's meant that not only could we not pick up what we want for the garden, but we also can't pick up what we need to build the bigger chicken coop and other stuff too. I look perturbed. Yeah, well... I'm very perturbed. Yeah, you see the problem, hey? We yeah. can't pick anything up, but I thought I could get started cutting the grass out for the path. But... No, it, it's not right. It's not right. I didn't want to say anything. 
It's not it's, right. I don't know what happened. I, I don't know how it's so not right. Can we just can we just take a moment to appreciate all these bees that are on like every flower? Even though it's not right. But it's still lovely to be out here. <laughs> to be out here. But this has been bugging me. I don't know what happened. It's, what happened? Is it just this garden or is it both of the... This one, this one is not in line with anything that it should be in line it's with. It's supposed to be like here. Yeah. So it's supposed to be, a, it was supposed to be a straight line from... From here, yeah? Yeah. From there to that side of the steps. The, the, the inside of the steps. But Do you it, know, it's just nothing. I think it's worse. I think it's both of them. This one is too far in. And this one is too far out. Yes, they're both wrong. <laughs> I, I was going to pick my battles and just say, like, that one is the... That one is the worst one. But I this mean, one's not right either. No. This was the first one that you made. This one here. I'm gonna. We're gonna have to redo it. Can you? I mean, it's stone wall. You can knock it down and you can do it again. I bet that's just what you feel like doing. Not really. <laughs> but no. <laughs> oh, I mean, man. we get more garden out of it. And it, I don't. And I then have to make less path. And I'm not just a little bit frustrated. For the rest of our lives. <laughs> I don't know how we did that. You helped me measure this yeah. edge as well. If it was just me, like, I wouldn't actually be that surprised. <laughs> but the fact that we both looked at it together and lined it up and measured it and... Teamwork! That, that feels wrong. This was the very first, the very first wall of the very first garden that I built and I mean it's probably the best one to take down because I had no real idea what I was doing. This is a good opportunity to, to do it better. Um, I'm sure it's not perfect. This is tough though, this is really tough. roots. Oh man, the piles of rocks on the lawn. Yeah. I know. Almost felt like we had a finished garden for a minute there. Are you alright? I don't know. <laughs> it's real sad. It's the first one that I built. It's the first part of the first one that I built. Well, it's probably good you're doing it again then. <laughs> That's what I said. And in fairness, it was a lot more mortar than stone, like... 
I like how you've got how you've got on these edges. You've used the this nice big flat one at the bottom. You like that? Yeah. That's good. I was kind of worried you wouldn't like that. No, I really like it. So if you could just find more of those. Yeah, we've got stone. I'll see what I can find. The rain is like it's here to stay, so I won't be finishing that one tonight, but I did get that one done. Check it out. This guy has come over from the river. Now he's Ooh, trying he's to leave. He's not happy with you, is he? <laughs> I always, always see these little things like smushed on the road. I don't know why ah! they... Oh, Don't fall, buddy. Can you see it? Yeah. I don't know why they get out of the river in the first place, but they're not very good at getting back to it. So I think we should take him over. Okay. <laughs> oh! oh! Yeah. He's not so sure about yeah. that. I'm here to help, I promise. Oh! Got ya. He's a big one. I think they get about twice this size. Really? I've never seen one this big. I've seen them in the river a bit bigger than this. Oh, we swim in that river. <laughs> I know. Get your toes. <laughs> All right. Okay, go pop, pop him back home. I'll take him home. Ah, at least the sun's out for this bit. Oh. Can just take that off and put it back Is it possible? Look, if that's not fine construction, I don't know what is. Oh, that's a big rock. Oh, no. Ah! Your plants keep escaping. 
savaged. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's what I did to it. Can you fix it now, please? What? Fix it? I thought you said you were going to do this one. No? I'm loving, I'm loving that one. I think it's come up so nice. It's hey. way better because I really didn't like it. But like, show me the There scene. are four or five bees. There are five uh, bees on that. You honestly can't get through a scene. I can't. <laughs> bees. Yeah, look at that big, huge one on the. Just bees. <laughs> oh my God, are you recording? never ever used this gate um, while we've lived here because it's very busted um, it doesn't lock properly and so we've always just piled rocks against it so that it can't be opened from the outside um, and this always just felt like oh no I can't fix that because I'm pretty sure it's welded on and yeah until recently I did not know how to weld so yeah this has just been basically part of the fence rather than a gate that we can use but now that we've got the garden in the path and we're really excited to get this functional again, which means I need to get this off, find a replacement, uh, figure out how I'm going to get it back on.
Uh, exactly, yeah, I'm gonna try to get this off so I can pop a new one on. Why does? There you go. It's a real shame, this is in such bad shape because like, once upon a time it would have been really cool, look at that. Turns out this guy was living in the lock. Sorry buddy. Oh, look, in fairness, when I'm done measuring it, you can go home. <laughs> really appreciate how straight those lines are now that the centerpiece is out. Oh, it looks so good. Hey Ludo! Now the absolute worst has happened. What have you got there? Piece of the garden. <laughs> I was so close to being finished. Oh. You were just basically backing the digger up to drive it out. Pretty much. Got a little bit complacent. Why have. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Me too. At least you're not being rained on. That is true. Oh, babe. Well, you only built this part of the wall once, so it <laughs> makes sense you've got to do it again. I feel terrible for Jack. He does not feel like doing this, I think. You know there's like only so many times you, you can do the same job. Uh. This is a real bummer. Jack says it goes, oh, it's cracked. It's cracked all the way around here. I was ever planning to make a garden like ours or any kind of garden that was structured like this. Um, I'd highly recommend leveling the space first. I mean, in hindsight, that's obviously what you do first. But hindsight is 2020, isn't it?
you think this one? Oh, I don't know, between the two. But this, this one can get compacted. See? It's not so hard to walk through. Because this is the one we've got up by the Maison. Yeah. This one I'd like to have it as a driveway, so we may as well just stick with the same stone. Okay. Okay, that one then. That one then. Yeah. Cool. I think it's enough? I was just gonna say, is this what not enough stones looks like? So you don't think it's enough? <laughs> There's not even close to enough. Um, it's like two tonne, wasn't it? This is two tonnes of stone. It sounds like a lot of stones. Yeah. And then, wah wah. I don't know about wah wah, but. Really? So you're gonna do some math on it and I'm just gonna look. I'm not gonna do some maths, I'm gonna do some moving it with a wheelbarrow. <laughs> And then pretty quickly we'll find out. Oh, I'm so excited to see what it looks like. This is like the final, this is the cherry on the top. So I hope it's enough then. It's going to be half a cherry. Sprinkles. It's the sprinkles on the top. Hey? Yeah. Okay. I'll take that. You take that. Okay. That doesn't seem fair. No? I've only got one wheelbarrow though. Well, I know. You could help load it. Okay. Um, it's just annoying that it's lunchtime, otherwise I could use Hoppy. But I have to wait two hours to do that and I'm not prepared to wait two hours. What's the time? Just after 12. Oh. Wait, is that hurting your elbow? Not yet. No, Jack, seriously. If it's quicker, you've got other jobs. I'm just, I'm just talking to you. You've got other jobs to do. Like you can wait two hours to do hoppy. Right now is when you harvest the courgettes when they've still got the flower on the end of them. If you want to um, have a Michelin star restaurant, <laughs> you know. The portions are tiny. <laughs> yeah, no, so that they look really pretty with the flower on top. Because there's a very small window where it's big enough to be a courgette and still have the flower on the end of it. Yeah, that's not big enough to be a courgette. Oh, wow. Wow. Goes further than you think. Yeah. More? Oh, I want okay. you to keep going anyway. <laughs> no, do it, with, do it with the digger if it's going to be, if you think it's going to be much quicker. But I don't know if it will be much quicker. I don't know if it'll be much quicker, but I'm much less likely to injure my elbow. Yeah. First time in five years? Probably a hell of a lot longer than that. We have a usable gate. I know we said that we were going to wait till after lunch and use the digger, but Bex has just gone out to meet a friend and I think it'll be a lot more fun if this is done when she gets back. So I've got a couple of hours, I'm going to try and surprise her, which means no digger. Uh, but here we go. What you doing, buddy? What you doing? Well, 
Well, I guess that's all we got then. Please come in. Come in. got somewhere to go. Look at it. up to you to to grow it I think that's doing a pretty good job all on its own <gasps> look how beautiful it is look how beautiful it is it's all in different angles <gasps> have you done this yet no I haven't had a Go chance 